A lot of brands are struggling with their Facebook ads right now, and they're not alone. And you probably know it too, that you scale and everything works, you have a great time, like you had a great last month, now you want to take it to the next level, and then you suddenly wake up and shit hits the fan, like you have poor day after poor day after poor day, and it feels like a kick in the nuts, and you don't know what to do. You kind of freak out, nothing's working, not even new creatives, so what are you going to do? This is the reason why I want to record this video. This should be your definitive guide to basically serve as an emergency plan what to do when things hit the fan when nothing is working anymore and it gets you out of that slump so this is also something i will attach below the video it's like a six step process to get out of these shitty times and scaling again so feel free to print this out put it on top of your bed give it a kiss before you go to bed when things are not working you will follow this and it will work again and even in these times like when we see meta is broken we have a lot of bugs this still applies. Try this and it will probably do a pretty good job at getting you out of the slump. So I would say we take a quick look and start right off here with the first step. Obviously this is an emergency plan, it's uh, structured in six steps. You can take a look, you can follow this whenever, you can follow this also maybe sometimes in an iterative process that you take a look if things are going well but you want to go like to the next level and you can't do that. So I would like you to walk through this and I will do a guide right now so you see how we think about this and how we determine what is not working and how we can fix it. So as a first step, you definitely need to assess the situation. This is super important and it's often overlooked. You need to analyze why your results are shit. And you often blame it on the platform, but often it's not, it's not the platform to be honest. Yes, sometimes you have these bugs, but they are kind of few not in february and march 2024 it's different there but often there are really few so what you want to check is are your ads fatigued this is probably the most common thing you have one great ad or you had some ads they were doing well but then they suddenly don't do well anymore and this is called ad fatigue they die off it's like with everything ads die and then you need to have new ones so this is one thing. The second thing could be pixel issues. Sometimes something in the background changes with Meta and maybe your automatic advanced matching got turned off. You can fix that. Or maybe you have some changes on the website and nothing is tracking anymore properly. Definitely do this. One great way to look at this is create a custom metric that actually measures how many people you send to the page and then how many actually view the page. So it's uh, actually a landing page views divided by the clicks. And if this is below 80%-ish, then you know you're losing traffic somewhere. Either it's not tracked or your page is so slow that nobody gets there. And then you can work from there. So this is also something. The third thing is also, and it's pretty often overlooked, it's seasonality. And you would say, well, obviously there is seasonality. But I often see brands that don't know their seasonality and they don't know where they are in the market cycle for their brand. Let me give you an extreme example. Obviously selling bikinis in winter is not the best business model you can have the same thing with like big canada goose jackets you want to sell in summer it's not working as well but also different products like sometimes skincare products sometimes products that are remotely related to travel they don't work in certain periods of the year or they work less and then you should be focusing on other things besides meta ads or facebook ads right so this is something you cannot ignore you need to face it if you have for three years in a row february is your the worst month you see then probably february is going to be slow again it's just something that happens and in this time it is it is wise to focus on other things too not just facebook ads other things in your funnel too and they can help to promote it and also even those out uh, weathered storms you could say now, what do you do as a second step? Now, you probably found something, either like you, none of your ads work, you either have like pixel issues, maybe the conversion rate dropped on the page, something has been going on there, definitely check this, or you are just in a seasonal low. So what do you do next? One immediate action that you can take is actually relaunching all stars. And this means you're looking at the last 30 to 90 days, and you're just seeing which of those work best. And then you don't do anything, like you don't do any iteration yet. You just take these ads and you launch them in a new campaign. Sometimes relaunching campaigns, and we definitely felt it in March and end of February, that sometimes relaunching campaign helped a lot, not only to get in front of new customers again, because sometimes all the campaigns, they tend to retarget a bit after some time or hit the same people. So that is, you can help with that. And the second thing is, sometimes you just have kind of a new direction. It's a fresh start. 
and it goes into a right direction sometimes. So just take your best performing ads from the last 30 to 90 days, analyze them and put them in a new campaign. You can try the post IDs, so with all of the likes they had and everything like that. But you can also try just using the ad, duplicating it and even with a different copy or just using it as it was. This is also fine. So you want to relaunch them. They worked at some time and they will probably do quite well still. This is something you can try and also to revive the ad account a bit. Now the next thing is, the third step is, also a very short term step that you can do, is iterating the best ads. And what you want to do here is that you look at like, even beyond the 30 to 9 days, you look at the, comp the absolute best performers in your account, the ones that really slapped, the bang banger creatives that took you to new scaling heights. And you want to analyze them properly, see what makes them work, what made them work. And you can start with something like this, just a short checklist to think it through. You can copy the idea and the angle so the overall marketing message st stays the same. But you can use new scenes, you can use new wording, you can use new cradles, you can use, use new intros and body parts. And a very easy way to get started with this is just using the original video and using also the same hook, so the first three seconds and the message in there, and just using different scenes there, like changing up the hook. And this can work often very, very well because we see these body parts of one ad working for a very long time, even though we just extending the lifetime period with new hooks. So let's just say you had one hook and one original ad that was working really well for one, two, three months. And then you iterate the ad. So you put like five new hooks on that ad and it just crushes again because it gets like new life blood, it targets new people. So this is also something you can try. The easiest, like the 80-20, is just using the best ad and doing new hooks for that, like 5 to 10 new hooks with different copy in them or different way of presenting it. This works really well. Then you can also try the best performing ad and getting a new creator. Also maybe a different audience and, and kind of demographic you have with the creator. So this can also work really well. So definitely consider this and this can really get you out of the slump pretty soon. But this is also not the most long-term savior i would say it's a very good short-term measure and sometimes you even find us that even outperform the old best performer by a lot and for a longer time this is like the best case scenario and these two first steps like relaunching the all-stars and iterating on the best ads they you can do them like in basically in the same day and it will probably work well now alongside with that Apart from the best performing assets in the past, you don't you not only want to iterate them and relaunch them, but you also want to ideate new concepts. And this is so important. Fresh ideas is what makes the account grow. Like scaling an account is really about creative operations and getting new ideas in that just resonate with the audience, that are relevant to the audience and that they buy it. And it's all about that. So yeah, relaunching your historic best performing ads is only a short term solution. At the same time, you need to experiment with completely new concepts. So do your research again. One thing we like to do for some brands is that we re-onboard them internally. So we take a look, okay, we've been working together for like a year or so, or sometimes we even do it like in a shorter term too. And we completely re-onboard them. We don't tell them, but we re-onboard them. We go through the full entire questionnaire. We go through the full entire research process because sometimes things change, but not only that, like when you work on an account for a long time or with your brand, then you sometimes get a tunnel vision. You hit the same angles over and over again, and they might lose effectiveness. So what you can do is like do the research again and create new ads out of that. There's Times are changing too, like you can maybe capitalize on a new trend. You can maybe find some new wow ideas about your product that impress people or unlock a complete new audience just by changing the angles. That's all possible with doing the research first, ideating new concepts and creating new ads. In the short term, you can of course repurpose it. You have a bunch of content in the past with like good creators. You can just put the text on it, maybe even use a AI voiceover with 11 laps. But apart from that, I would also recommend that you get new creators, you get fresh ideas, you get fresh faces, and you introduce them to the ad account with the, all of the learnings you've made in the past. And this is a very high chance of getting you out of the slump as well. And this is also a very worthwhile decision because let's just say sometimes you get these banger creatives and they just work well for months. Like, I don't lie to you. Sometimes an account, and we scaled this account from 18,000 per month to like 324,000 per month. And we tested like over 100 creatives. But what really made the account scale was maybe 
a handful of creators, like three or four creators that just absolutely slapped. And it's not that the other creators were poor, like they worked, they were in targets, but it didn't allow us to scale so quick. But then we found these absolute bangers and they even undercut the best performing ads in the account and they worked for months. Some of them still work and we launched them like three, four months in the past or five months. And this is really the power of a banger creative, so never underestimate that. One creative can really change your life. And by redoing the research and re-evaluating it, like basically going the same process again and ideating new ads, you can really unlock something like this. Right. Now then, as the next step and fifth step, you want to build your arsenal. You want to test intensively, especially in a time like this, you should be investing most of your time and effort into either optimizing what is outside of the ad account, so that is essentially the product, the offer, what you do there, this can help a lot. And then also, of course, what goes into the ad account, which is the creative. Don't sweat the campaign structures or anything. The most important thing is that you get in new creatives, fresh ideas, something that scales. Now, after you're testing that, you tested all of these new concepts, you relaunch the best performers, you want to keep what's working and kill what's not. Like you need to be really dramatic here and you need to be also really serious about this because you can't run things that are on the boundary of being good or like okay or anything like that. You should be focusing on the key assets and forcing spend on them. Because what will, what this will do is that it, it forces also the ad account to optimize on the best things. The optimization goes up, the learning phase, the learning percentage in the ad account goes down, the whole thing will be more optimized and you will get more optimized and better performing campaigns. So really be, really be tough with this. Don't like think that one creative, you put so much work in it and completely flops that you need to keep it on. Just get rid of it. Focus on what's working best and scale it with the 20% rule, especially in a time where you need to rebuild the ad account, build your arsenal, your army again. You need to be scaling uh, sustainably and I would recommend 20% rule. So that means we, when you have something that works and it spent like 500,000 bucks or so, you see it's still working. Then I would recommend increasing it by 20% every two to five days so you can make sure it sustainably scales without overdoing it. That should help. And now as a sixth step, you want to prevent this from happening again. I would say 80 to 90% of the times when things stop working and the account tanks, it's due to a creative issue and you don't want it happening. I know a lot of brands, like also a lot of eight figure brands that are just not testing enough. I even know nine figure brands who can't test enough. And what you want to do is that you want to plan ahead. You don't just want to leave it up to chance and surf the wave of your one best performing creative that basically carries the account. You need to look into the future. So what I would recommend to you is that you set a fixed schedule of when you test creatives, when you want to do this. And what we often do for clients is a weekly creative drop. Sometimes we do bi-weekly creative drops. And what you essentially do there is you just stick to the schedule and you ideate new things, you get new creatives out. And especially for you, this could be a mixture of iterations of best performers. So like best performing ads with new hooks and new body parts or new copy. And then on the other side in the mix, you still have new concepts, fresh ideas, and you continue that process. Not when shit hits the fan, but you actually do it continuously. So you make sure you never run into that issue. And focus on a new angle every other week and create three hooks each. Creating three hooks for one video is a huge game changer because it multiplies your chances of success by three. And of course, if you do that for multiple hooks, that's a lot and a lot of work that you save instead of just making one video with one hook. And that's it. Don't do that. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time and a waste of your potential. So I would say do this and then it might take you two to four weeks to get back to where you were. Sometimes it just takes a couple of days until you relaunch like crazy. You're working your ass off. You're writing new copy and ads until 2 a.m. or so. Then it works uh, suddenly the same week again. This can happen and I hope it does for you. But sometimes it takes some time. And then I want you to think about you building a sustainable fundament, fundamentals for your account so you can scale again. And it's definitely worth it. And, and don't panic, like you will survive this. So just do the best you can, put in the effort, make great ads, check everything out, to go through it like a checklist. And once you do that, I see you succeeding like in a, in a big way. And then as you scale again and things get traction again, you get momentum, then really sky's the limit. And I hope to see you scaling after applying this. 
So I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, please drop them down below in the comments. Otherwise, I would say that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for future videos, please drop them down below as well. And again, truly appreciate you watching. Apart from that, have a great week. Happy scaling and I'll catch you in the next one.